Hello everyone and welcome to the continuation of some rapid fun we were having yesterday. You guys said that you would enjoy seeing more games. So uh, I will play, let's say, one or two games uh, depending on, uh, you know, how long it takes. If, if it's um, like if both of us uh, spend all of our time, it's probably going to make like a 20 minute video. So I'm going to uh, cap it at one. But if the games will go faster, then I guess we could play more. In the previous one, I've uh, actually played three. We're playing against uh, Neferpito... Uh, HXH, who is also streaming at the moment, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so we are recording while he's streaming it, and we are going to go for the Scandinavian defense. Uh, very nice. All right, so uh, obviously he will play great moves as he's also streaming to his audience. Uh, I have to be very careful here. Uh, and he goes for knight to c3. So we're going to play our standard moves here, you know, just uh, knight f6, a6, uh, knight to... Okay, a3. Hmm kind of kind of a useful move i just don't know if it's useful at the moment but i don't really have a way of exploiting this now so i'm just going to continue developing uh, but it is useful as in some of the lines i do put my bishop on g4 okay so he immediately stops that uh, so probably we will put our bishop to d5 okay he goes for this immediately what does he want um hmm. let's let's just develop first I do want to play a6, but I usually play a6 uh, quickly, uh, so he, he can't attack my queen with knight to b5. But here, as his bishop is uh, on b5, I don't have to rush it. So I, I just have to see if he will play with the d4 or maybe d3, and we'll uh, take it from there. All right, so he captures... Uh, yeah, he wants to get rid of my light square bishop, which is perfectly fine, but I don't know. Uh, he, him having the white pieces, I kind of... Okay, so he goes for this. Okay, he doesn't want to allow me to advance my pawn any further. Might put the knight here also. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so... I guess we play e6 and... Hmm. Yeah, it's not a, not a bad move order. Not at all. Oh. Okay, there's, I mean, it, it's a bit slow, it's a bit slow, but I can move the queen, then move the knight, then play f6 and kick away his knight, it's uh, no big deal. Yeah, and now if d4, he, he of course wants to develop the bishop, maybe to g5. Uh... Yeah, let's play this right away. Now bishop g5 isn't very useful, I'm just going to kick it away with f6. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, if he trades, I will capture, uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe trading wasn't uh, that bad of an option for him. Then, uh, you know, trade and push c4. Huh. All right, we're going to kick away the knight, as that was our plan all along. Now he frees up the b5 square for uh, the knight. Uh, okay. This allows our queen to get into the game. He's probably going to just move it back to... No, he goes to d3. Hmm. We could... What could we do? Uh, 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 uh. So really... Hmm. I'm going to play queen to g6. I don't think it's like a great move or anything, but it does put pressure on h3, and also the knight can't really move as it puts pressure on c2. On the other hand, uh, I don't know if my moves are all that impressive. So, okay, now... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should definitely capture this now. Capture this. I don't need to rush anything here. Yeah, everything is nicely defended. Let's get our bishop here. He will probably play bishop f4, which is very nice. So if I trade, he can get the knight to f4 with tempo. 
and then I don't have time to capture the pawn here. On the other hand, uh, what if I just capture the knight? That's the real question. So the real question is, he will have some sort of pressure against my king. Will I be able to survive? Yeah, that is the real question here. He goes for that, okay, as we were expecting it. Yeah, and we capture here, he captures there. Um, so it's not, I mean, it's not spectacular or anything. Yeah, now if he captures, I might even be able to capture this pawn, but I can't, yeah. Because if uh, if I capture, he's just going to attack my queen, and then I'm going to uh, lose the game terribly. So I guess safest would be just uh, play this. If he doubles up, I should probably just capture, uh, and then if he captures, capture the c3 pawn. Could be a little bit dangerous, but yeah. Also, I have to be a, a little bit careful about checks. He, he does have a check which can pick up my pawn, uh, but this also gives me a sort of a semi-open G file to attack his king, so I'm not really that worried about losing that pawn. Uh, but yeah, hmm. I like his position, but I also like my position. So it's, uh, it's uh, but I pretty much, uh, it's like that in, in all the games. Okay, some nasty pressure here. Hmm. Is this anything? I don't think it is. Like he, he shouldn't really allow me to capture on c3. But, uh, yeah, he, uh, maybe even just rook c1. Does look a bit passive. Yes. Yeah, but I do have weaknesses. Like, this is weak. Uh, this can be weak. Uh, this pawn is weak. I, I should play king to b8 at some point. I'm uh, just not sure if it's uh, useful anymore. Probably is. Mm. We'll see. Uh, all, all depends on what he plays. Actually, don't know who this is. Nefer Pito. Okay, I'm gonna check out. Okay, so he just goes for this. So his idea is that uh, if I capture, what's the idea? He's going to play rook c1. That doesn't really do anything. I, I can just give a check, trade, everything. And I'm going to be up a pawn in a queen's endgame. Or am I missing something? He might not be interested in that at all, but okay. I, I definitely am intrigued. Am I blundering a full <laughs> rook somewhere? No. Okay. He's probably gonna... Yeah, he doesn't have time. Hmm. Okay, so I guess it's a clean pawn. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think he maybe had uh, some better options here. Maybe the, the pawn push didn't really achieve all that much. Yeah, we're gonna trade and go into... Uh, Queen and pawn endgame being up a pawn. Now, I could do... Oh, okay, first we have to prevent him from doing any checks and picking up material. That's kind of the first thing to do. Or we could capture this, create a passed pawn. Sort of allow him to maybe take one pawn. Yeah, but he can only take this one. He will not be able to check me here, as I will be controlling that. So maybe... Maybe it's a bit greedy, but uh, it, it could also just be a good move. Yeah, I just... Uh, I don't want to blunder, you know, a really fine game. Uh, I could just play it uh, with, with queen to e7, and then offer, uh, try to offer a queen trade, which he will, of course, avoid. Yeah, if I can take and it's winning, then it's winning. So, wow. So I'm considering this and this. And I have time. You know, it's a rapid game, so I don't need to rush anything. 
Ah, uh, so let's see if there's maybe anything better. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, this is very nice. Yeah. I, I mean, I know this is good. I just, uh, I, I, it would be a shame not to be greedy if it's okay to be greedy. That's, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I think we're gonna be greedy. Okay, so queen g4, pretty much only move for him. Yeah, he has to play that. I did consider f5 here, just don't see the upside of, of that move. So this will give me some back rank issues. But nothing... Uh, my opponent offers a draw. Yeah, we're still gonna play a little bit. Yeah, I, I might lose it. I'm not saying I'm not... Uh, capable of losing this, but, uh, yeah, I, I would like to start pushing right away, but I can't, he has this. Yeah, if I, I block my queen if I just play this. Um, yeah, let's play a nice calm move here. He'll take another pawn. And everything is fine. Yeah, okay, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Let's put the queen here. So we want our king. Hmm. Probably giving a few pawns too many just to start uh, pushing right away. But what are you going to do? We're going to centralize our queen. That's, that's worth the pawn. Okay, so he will do that and we start what? What? I am in the square of the pawn, that's for sure. Like, that can't be good for him. Okay. Uh, we're faster. Yeah, we're in the square of the pawn. So for those of you who don't know, this is the square of the pawn. As long as my king is here, I can stop the pawns. Not really a problem. Uh, he's definitely going to have to include his king. Yeah, now he just can't stop my pawn. Maybe, okay, maybe I didn't calculate it perfectly, but uh, yeah, definitely the king is the one that was supposed to enter the game. Okay, so his king is now coming, but it is far too late, yeah. Far too late for that. All right, so he will give one check, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay. And that's all there is. Um, yeah, let's give this check. Then this check, then this check. Okay, so he resigns, of course. Uh, but we will check. Let me just check here. Okay, we got some... 85 points of rating, that's very nice. Uh, let me just check here. Uh, oh, we got, a, we, we got some audience here as the gentleman was streaming. So let's just... Ah, uh, uh, so, okay, so everything was... Okay, this is a standard white advantage of 0 0.3, nothing spectacular. Here, this was fine, 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 fine. Uh, yeah, a4, not the best here. So knight b4, obviously, I can take advantage of the weird positioning here, but I thought, uh, yeah, okay, he just defends it with the rook and, uh, but yeah, obviously knight b4 was best. Uh, f6, not terrible. Uh, queen here, okay. Knight of, uh, queen of 3 I capture, captures. Okay, pretty much uh, a draw here. I play bishop captors, that's perfectly fine. Fine, 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 fine. Yeah, zero, 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 zero. Yeah, here it's, um, yeah, yeah. That's the move I didn't like, and the engine doesn't like it uh, either. I took uh, on c3, that's great. Queen, yeah, queen f5, obviously better. Yeah, now here he just allows me to, okay, so uh, what could have been done better? Let me just check. Uh, yeah, okay, queen e6 is the move, yeah, that, um, 
Uh, I should have played. It's the one that I was uh, considering, but I went for the greedy option. Both of them are better for black. Uh, it's just that queen to e6 is uh, not as greedy, so I should have played that. Yeah, okay, check. Okay, uh, captures. Uh, h6. Yeah, okay, captures. So this should be a draw now, uh, but I was able to somehow win. Yeah, he, he should just capture on h7 and then fight with the queen. Once he gives a queen trade, uh, you can see the, the double question mark. It was a blunder. So yeah, here uh, it's actually a draw uh, after this move. Captures, captures. Yeah, king b6 just uh, wins the game. Uh, but yeah, of course, it was important to get in, in the square of the pawn. Uh, of course, if you know that, then it's easy to find the move. Yeah, but now, of course, the pawn is unstoppable. Uh, so yeah, not, uh, not, okay, uh, if, I, if I mess this up, then I should not be recording chess games. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, okay, so this was a nice one. Oh yeah, okay, 15 minutes for one game. As uh, we are now climbing up the rating a little bit, the games will get longer, so maybe I'm gonna uh, stick with one uh, one game per video. Uh, but we'll see how it goes for tomorrow. If it's gonna be a short one, then I'm gonna make like two of them. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Um, uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Uh, continuing to check up uh, on your wonderful suggestions and everything else that's happening in the chess world. Uh, the next video uh, comes from the Girls um, uh, World Championship. Uh, so stay tuned for that. It's really an awesome one. Uh, see you soon.